public service announcement. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, so if you could help me out. So if you feel like you want to go an extra mile today and hit subscribe, please do so. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Alright, so this clip is filmed on my GoPro, but I don't really want to talk about that a lot. So, you know what? I'm going to be talking a little bit about, you know, some other stuff right now. So, you know, the broody chicken, basically that's what happens when you have your chicken want to hatch out an egg. So I'm going to show you how you can make your chicken go broody in today's video. So basically, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need some eggs. So obviously, to make a chicken go broody, you basically need to give them eggs. But just remember, you don't want to disturb the chicken's process. Because if you know what that does, that basically just, that basically just like, makes her less and less broody every time. And then after about a week or so of you disturbing the process, she will give up. So basically what you're gonna need to do is make sure you've isolated the chicken in a well, in a well insulated building because sometimes you're doing it in the cold and sometimes you're doing it in the heat. So make sure the building is nicely insulated so that way you don't have to go too far about worrying, well, what am I gonna do about this? So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, you know, just like go out and find like a um, heated or air conditioned building, well insulated, you know, if it's like 60, 70, 80 degrees, you might wanna have the windows open during those days. So that way the chicken basically just, you know, gets the, gets the supplies that she's gonna need and you're gonna wanna check back daily. So like not constantly, maybe like one to three times a day, but not like, but if you check back like more than five times in a day, she's gonna know that like you're forcing her to go broody so make sure that she is well isolated from any other chickens loudmouth is in the duck coop and she's been spending the last few nights there and we gave her the eggs last night so hopefully we're gonna hatch out some black copper marin and some easter egg or chickens that is our main hope right now now it comes to understanding what chickens will go broody at what time so most of the time you're gonna have a chicken going broody probably around the month of May, June, and July, and that's one of the best times that you can hatch out eggs. The most common chicken that'll go broody is most likely Rhode Island Reds. They're like the most stereotypical type of chickens ever. Like everything I see about chickens, like you go on and turn on the TBC and ad about chickens, it's probably featuring a Rhode Island Red. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna find, you're gonna wanna see if your chicken is broody. And just so you know, if you look up Easter egg or chickens and it shows the temperament broody, they are not actually broody. They are absolutely terrible brooders. So a good thing to do is just not like use Easter eggers. But Forpingtons are really good hatchers. Along with a couple times a black copper marin, are, those are also pretty good chickens. Just remember, a breeding egg should be the exact should be bred by the exact breed of rooster. Because imagine like you put a buff Forpington rooster up with an Easter egg or chicken. Yeah. The eggs are not gonna look too good. The, the chickens, they're probably gonna look terrible. Their eggs are gonna be a mix between blue and brown. Now, yeah, that's one of the many things that you need to avoid when you're hatching out eggs. So if you didn't know, on July the 1st, which happens to be for some reason like a really bad day, we unfortunately ended up collecting our black copper marin breeding hen's eggs. I know what you're thinking. Like, how? How did some, how did one person manage to do that? Well, that's what happens when you, well, that's what happens when you forget to collect eggs. You accidentally collect the others. Fortunately, our black copper marin wasn't too, wasn't like too angry about this, but she did need a rest. So we spent another week collecting eggs, and now we've gotten loudmouth into the mix. Let me talk about things. That was pretty much all I had to offer today's video. So if you really did enjoy, and you really want to fly into that subscribe button, please do so. So I can reach 1,000 by the end of the summer. I hope this video does pretty good. Let's get this video up to 3,000 views. 250 likes and I will make a big video. I haven't yet thought out what it will be but it'll definitely come out before the month ends so you might want to like and subscribe for that if this video does do pretty good. 3,000 views and 250 likes and I'll do that video. Let's end that video. Everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush